I started in the mid 90s, you know, it was busy throughout the day, people coming in and out of the place. This whole strip was never asleep till three, four o'clock in the morning. You found people moving about. Now it's 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 quiet, very quiet. bad and I think uh, our survival is an issue soon if it continues then you think about the people who you had to disemploy or the people you may have to let go and what will they do and what is their fault in all this nothing they all want to work but they can't control these external forces it is very bad now because you know the, the white people are not coming. No Muzungu, no man. Yeah. yeah. Now people, they are very, very uh, disparate, I can tell you. People will starve. People will starve. The situation now is getting worse and worse at an alarming rate. The people around the coast are lamenting about the businesses are closed. The people are lamenting because poverty is increasing. I'm expecting very bad evils to happen just because youth are idle. And there are several allegations that there are people that come up with youth so that they can take them to Somali so that they will be trained and become the Al-Shabaab. Suppose they come and lure me and uh, I can offer you a job. I wouldn't have any option apart from taking it. But I'm sober enough in the mind, and I'm, when I'm given that opportunity, I won't subject myself to, to a terrorist evil or to a terrorist group. Terrorism, no, no, no. There is no place for them. And these youths, many of them who are recruited to, to do those things here, who are drug addicts. So you've talked to people who've been uh, lured in to terrorists or to criminal organizations? Maybe they'll be used, but they don't know that they're being used as terrorists. Because they don't have money, they're not working, they're living on the street. They need to buy heroin. And they tell you the, the, the truth that I don't know who was fighting who. You know, when you engage them and you talk to them. So, I was going to I was going to 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 Nilipofika kule nilikuta wengine ambao nawajua wengine si wajui tuko watu wengi alafu watu wanapika watu wanakula alafu kumbe ilikuwa kuna group ya wanajeshi wanaarenjiwa waje watu train kule tuwe kama wao tunajua kutumia silaha sasa nilipoangalia maana kesio aim yangu mimi kwenda kule na kujoin na hiyo group nilikuwa ni kazi katika ile group tuko kama watu 20 kila mmoja na shughuli yake lakini kuna kama watu watatu I mean, if somebody is going to give you 50,000 shillings and you haven't had a job for the last six months, what are you going to do? You might take it. They are forced into it because of poverty. When you do economic sanctions against countries, it's the poor that suffer. This is another economic sanction, you know, in another way. But we are in the tourism business, you know, we have to smile. The show must go on.